one that wear the mask, if those one beat you behind the scene, I, I swear to my life, they will bring the drugs out. Hame Zansi, this October has been making so much trends already on social media and apparently so many people have always wanted to know what happens behind the scenes. Guess what guys, now we know what happens behind the scenes on Zizoktola as a particular Nigerian decides to spill out all the beans. Make sure to watch this video right up to the end because the man revealed so much already about the behind the scenes of Zizoktola hosted by Mr. Tolani Kumalo. Before I give you all the entire details, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment and hit on to my post notification bell. The show, which individuals that sell drugs are exposed on TV when a group of Zisoktola comes into the suspect's home to search for the drugs after a tip-off. Viewers have been wondering what happens to the suspects behind the scene when the suspects come back sweating and spilling the truth out about the whereabouts of the drugs. One of the suspects that was arrested was on the Agenda Network explaining how he was attacked by the group that exposes the drug dealers. He was caught and the officers searched his home. While he was explaining that when the group actually came to his home, they destroyed almost everything and turned his home upside down during the search. He revealed critical information that viewers of the show have been wondering about. He actually said that... The group is divided into three categories. They have the cameraman, the other officers that search your house, and those that wear mask. And, of course, he as well swears that if those that are wearing the mask actually touch you, if they decide to lay their hands on you, drugs will come out if you have them. This is what the viewers have always been willing to hear about, the part which leaves the suspect sweating suddenly. Meaning that the group interrogates these drug dealers to cooperate with them and start giving out all these illicit consumables already and names of their suppliers. Tolani Kumalo is doing an impressive job when actually though he risks his own life and gets into dangerous areas where these lords are. He wouldn't back down until they find the person they are looking for that is the king of all the dealers already in town. Now, so many South Africans are so happy and excited about this and they are revealing that it serves this Nigerian right. It serves all Nigerian rights, uh, all Nigerians right who are involved in this drug activity because literally those people are destroying the South African nation. I'm telling you all for a fact that South Africa is a very beautiful country, but some people, just a few grains of people decided to adorn the entire country with a negative image which isn't supposed to be so. Guys, I really don't want to be judgmental about all of these things, but I'm telling you for a fact that it is a very sad situation. But then again, then again, this Octola crew with host Mr. Tola Di Kumalo are doing the best job so far in South Africa as far as tracking down these malicious people are concerned. You all tell me in the comment section what you think about all of this. Like, are you literally excited to know what happens behind the scenes of this Octola? Or do you just like feel so normal about it? And do you want anything more about the behind the scenes of this Octola? Tell me in the comment section, guys. And we're going to definitely go out there and look for that information for you. And more so, if there's any information that you want to verify or you want me to talk about, you can actually put that in the comment section. And I'll definitely do that for you. I love you all so dearly. Take good care of yourselves, guys.